our lesson today is about position and motion. All right. So a position is the place where something is found. Just like this. So can you tell me where are the books? As you can see in this picture. So can you tell me where are the books? Where are the books? They are they on the desk or under the desk? They are under the desk or table. All right. So this is how you know the position of an object. Let's see here. Where is the lemon? Where is the lemon? Is it outside the jug or in the jug? So the lemon is in the jug. All right. Let's move on. So here, let's get started. How can you tell where something is? A position is the place where something is found. I can tell you if an object is over or under, right? I can tell you if it's over or, or under. So position can tell you if an object is close or far. It can tell you if an object is to the right or to the left. Now here, listen to me, guys. How would you describe where you are sitting? Omar, can you tell me where are you sitting right now? Hmm, I can tell. Maybe you are sitting on the couch. On the couch. Let's see, Talal. Where are you sitting right now? Mm, let me guess. Maybe you're sitting on the sofa. So what, which position word did I use? On, right? So this is a position word. I used it because you are sitting on the couch. Because I want to tell your position. Where is your position? So I can use on, in, over, between, and above. Or right, left, close or far, over or under. These are all position words. All right? Okay. So let's read a photo together. As you can see here, this is a fair. All right, uh, a carnival. So I want to uh, describe the position of something at the fair. For example, it's not showing, it's not that much showing. All right, so we all know that this is a Ferris wheel and this is food stand. Food stand is where you could buy things or they, they sell food to, to people to buy it. That's why it's called food stand. So the food stand is in front of the Ferris wheel. Or we could say Ferris wheel is behind the, the food stand. So let's write here together. Okay, so as we said, the food stand is behind the Ferris wheel. Or I could say, I can say that here, 
I'll give you another example. Here. This girl is selling, I think, cotton candies. Yeah. So the the cotton candy stand is in front of what? It's front of the roller coaster. Or the roller coaster is behind the cotton candy stand. All right? Okay. Let's do the quick check together. So it's, a, it's saying circle all words that tell about an object's position. So the word over tells me the object's position, right? Under also tell me the object position. Left also tells me the object's position. And near. What about thing? Thing. Did, did you understand anything about this word? Did you know the object's position from this word? No. Because it's not the the it's not the pos it's not a position word all right let's practice again and please say with me say after me all right these words over over under under close close far far right right left left in in on on between between above above all right so these you need to practice these words at home okay so i want you to to do this for me when i say raise your arm up come on raise your arm up you have to move your arm up what happened to your arm is it still down or up it's now up so your arm, your, the position of your arm changed, right? So it's up now. Okay? Let's move on. Okay. Next is how do things move? So the main idea, object can move in many ways at different speed. Speed. What are some ways object can move? Okay, so let's see here this word. This word is called motion. Say motion five times. Motion, 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 motion. All right, so motion means is a change in an object's position. So it's the change in an object position. So some things, all, sorry, all things do not move the same, right? All things do not move the same. So some object moves in straight line. Some object move in straight line. Some object move up and down. Some objects move around and around, around and around. All right, so this is called motion. This is called motion. This is not the position. All right, this is motion. This is when uh, motion is a change in an object's position. Let's have a look. On this picture so this car is moving in a curvy line this car 
is moving in a curvy line right the can you think of other object that can move in a curved line mm, let's think who can move like this or like this mm, i know it it starts with s mm, what is it i think it's a snake snake move in a curvy line right okay now let's see this picture what is this this is a plane so this plane moves in a straight line this plane moves in a straight line so motion again let's remember let's remember motion cause change in an object's position okay let's move here so some things also move uh, some things also move side to side object objects can move fast or slow i'm gonna ask you a question how are rocket ship this is a rocket ship how are rocket ship and airplane alike alike means the same how they are the same so they both can move right both of them can move they both can what both can fly right and they both carry people they both carry people so as we know the airplane is fast right and the the rocket ship is even faster right it's faster than the airplane so this rocket ship moves very fast okay let's do this quick check to quick check together so fill in the blanks things that move are that move are in motion why is it motion let's remember motion causes change in an object's position it causes change in an object's position okay number three things can move or slow things can move or slow things can move fast or slow again let's remember together motion is a change in an object position position is the place where something is found and motion is the change of an object object's position all right so now we are done uh, if you have any question you did not understand please send me a message on class dojo and i am there to help you i miss you guys stay safe and stay healthy thank you